All right, we're gonna solve one more problem of implicit differentiation. This one involves trigonometric functions. All right, here we go. Okay, we are given the instruction to use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of y with respect to x. We need to find y prime, basically. Okay, the function we're given is four cosine x times the sine of y equals to one, okay? The first thing that is convenient to do is to divide both sides by four. So we have one fourth on the right hand side of the of the equation. And then we can take it from here. The basic two steps to solve uh, a derivative with the implicit differentiation are, step number one, differentiate both sides of the equation. Step number two, solve for y prime, All right? So let's do it. When we differentiate, uh, the product here, this is a product of two functions, function cosine x and function sine of y. Sometimes we call it u and a v, and we use the product rule, right? The product rule says that we take the first function times the derivative of the second function plus, because it's a product, the second function times the derivative of the first function, okay? Cosine is cosine, but when we differentiate sine of y, it's important to know that the derivative of sine of y is cosine y times y prime, because y is a function, and we have to write the derivative of y with respect to x, which is y prime, right? And then the derivative, sine is sine, sine y, you leave it, and then the derivative of cosine x is negative sine of x, all right? The derivative of x with respect to x is one, so you don't write it. And then when you differentiate one fourth, it's the derivative of a constant, which happens to be zero, all right? So that was the first step, differentiate both sides of the equation, okay? Now what we have to do is we have to clear for y prime, we have to solve for y prime. And what we do is we um, add sine x, sine y on both sides, uh, some people say we move it to the other side anyway. Um, just do your algebra and you're gonna have this. Um, cosine x times cosine y times y prime is equal to sine x, sine y, okay? Um, you can, one way to see it is that it was negative here, product of sine x, sine y was negative and you write it positive on the other side. That's one way to see it, okay? And uh, finally, if we want to solve for y prime, you divide both sides by cosine x, cosine y. And this is a pretty decent result, but it is always very nice to simplify. In this case, we can simplify with uh, trigonometric identities. Um, the identity we're gonna use uh, is the identity that says that sine over cosine is equal to tangent. So sine x over cosine x becomes tangent of x and then sine y over cosine y becomes tangent of y, and this is our result. This is the derivative of y with respect to x. This is y prime. Our answer is y prime is equal to tangent of x times the tangent of y, okay? That is the answer, and uh, we're just gonna review really quick the two steps that we used. Step one is we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. In this case, we use the product rule, and the derivative of a constant, okay? And then the other step is to um, solve for y, solve for y prime, right? And then when you solve for y prime, you have your answer, okay? This is it, one little detail to remember is that every time you find the derivative of y with respect to x, you have to write y prime, okay? Because that's the variable, although that, that's what you're gonna be looking for, y prime. So this is the end of this uh, exercise. Thank you so much for your attention. If you have any questions, you can let us know. Thank you very much. Have a good day.